As passengers slowly return to the skies. Use common sense and use your mask. We'll be all right. And travel picks up for the holiday weekend. Airlines are filling their jets. I don't know that it's very wise at the moment. American Airlines notifying passengers of full flights so they can switch if another flight is available. United doing the same. Now, Newsy has obtained audio of American CEO telling employees social distancing isn't even an option. I mean, we all have to acknowledge that social distancing is not something we can provide very well as an airline. No airline can. You know, you can, you can say you're not selling the middle seat. Uh, you're not six feet away um, from the person in the window of the aisle, and certainly not six feet away from the person in front or behind you. He goes on to say that's why cleaning is so important. But data shows with a mask on, cough droplets only travel a few inches, more than the distance between people with seats blocked. That's the reason why I'm flying Delta is because they're keeping one seat in between all passengers. And so I feel a lot more comfortable doing that than being like completely booked in an airplane. Airlines like Delta and Southwest are blocking middle seats through the end of September when government stimulus money runs out. After that, they need to make up losses and all the major airlines are looking at deep cuts. Things have to improve quickly over the summer. And if they don't, we'll have to radically restructure Southwest Airlines. Another travel demand slump is likely after the holiday weekend as coronavirus case counts rise across the country, which means now is a critical time for airlines to prove to passengers they can make flying comfortable. All major airlines are thoroughly disinfecting planes and requiring face masks on board. Frontier and Hawaiian Airlines will even check your temperature. These airlines will ask you to verify you're healthy before you even get to the gate. Most are boarding their planes back to front, and half are capping their capacity or blocking certain seats. But others aren't. American says it's comfortable enough with the procedures it does have in place, adding, we know our customers are placing their trust in us to make every aspect of their journey safe, and we are committed to doing just that. We each play a very important individual role. Dr. David Aronoff is on a new panel advising American on its protocol. It's important for uh, businesses and gatherings to still adhere to social distancing practices. But American isn't, and the airline's pilots union is worried. It's calling on the government to institute uniform social distancing and buy enough seats on each flight so that no passenger will have to sit next to a stranger. Stopping virus spread isn't just about safety now. It's also a business calculation. James Packard, Newsy, Chicago.